doing? Good. Is this We Are Change UK? Just this corner, you guys are just the followers? The rejects. The rejects. The ponies have come wrong. Nah, you're here, you can't be rejects. But yeah, here I am. You know, I'm nothing special. I'm a 24 year old kid from upstate New York, over in the country that everybody hates. Um, you know. You know. True. I know, I know. People hate the government enough. People. You understand what I'm saying. Uh, screw it, what do you guys want to know? I mean, yeah, I, could, question and I could run my mouth for 10 minutes, or you could just ask what you want to know, and we could get that out of the way there. If yeah, you're nothing that. special, how do you get into this? I guess a combination of dumb luck and uh, an effective movie, I guess. I, I don't know, man. I mean, I was, uh, when I started working on Loose Change, I was just an 18-year-old kid. Uh, this was in mid-2002 started writing what was supposed to be a fictional project. You guys have probably all heard this boring story. Um, I just stumbled into it, is really what it came down to. I started researching 9-11, I started looking into the essence, I started looking into what happened in the Twin Towers. And uh, it was just a domino effect from there. You know, you look at one thing, it leads you to another thing, it leads you to another thing. And uh, really, it was a total accident. That's really all it came down to. What do your parents think? Mom is very supportive, <laughs> mom loves it. Um, never met dad. I don't know what he thinks. My grandma voted for Bush both times. Thinks I'm totally crazy. That's okay. So I asked her what happened to Building 7. She didn't know what I was talking about, so I would assume... She voted for Bush both times. What's up? She voted for Bush both times. Both times. Hey, she's yep. seen your movie. Yes. <laughs> Wasn't too happy with it. But that's okay. You know, I'm, I'm not out to change my grandma's mind. I'm not going to change the mind of the future. So, yeah. But no, my family, as far as I can tell, are supportive. You know, I got my mom. Who, it's my mom. I love her. And she's supportive, and that's really all that matters to me. Yeah. Well, what's the, um, have you noticed a change in the attitude towards people, people that's actually towards you coming now compared to that when you first? Absolutely. 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 I and mean, what kind of change is that? Well, you know, in mid 2005, you could go to Ground Zero and you could wear a sweatshirt like this, and you'd probably get yelled at a lot, you'd probably get called a lot of names. Really, I mean, now if you go down to Ground Zero and you wear this kind of shirt, <clears throat> you'd be surprised how many people, firefighters included, come up to you with pleasure and support. I mean, they may not do it in uniform, but they'll be like, look, you know, like, I can't talk about this while I'm a firefighter, but I want you to know you guys are on the right track, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. The public consciousness has definitely opened up to the possibility, both in America and worldwide. I mean, I was talking to a Russian reporter earlier at AP who was like, yeah, you know, we know what's going on. I mean, they blow up our buildings in Moscow all the time. So, <laughs> the, the, seriously, <laughs> that's what he said. Blame it on the Chechens. What's that? Blame it on the Chechens. Yeah. 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 That's why they poison that guy. Yeah. 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 I mean, and this kind of thing happens all over the world, all the time. And uh, it's just so funny that Americans seem to be the only nationality that don't really acknowledge it until it's too late. Um, and the British. And the British. And the British. 7-7, seven, seven, that was interesting. Um, it's going to be hard to, like... You know, win over the public on that. How, how does how does seven seven truth go over in London? You guys tell uh, it's me. It's very fact based, actually. It's not. It's, it no, I know. I'm sure. But I mean, how's the how's the public reception? Actually, when we're on the street talking about nine eleven, they come up to us. What about seven seven? Yeah. <laughs> it's worse. Really? It's even worse. Well, no, no. We 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 nine eleven, so we don't talk about seven. Yeah, but, but, but they do. But they do talk. You know, want to know about seven seven. Yeah. So we've actually kind of. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're kind of the same thing. War games were, going, yeah, war games were going on, simulating the very same kind of attack. Right. The Jewish was in town. Bush was in mission. It's not as easy to convince. I think it's not as much stuff to show people. I think the difference is. With 7-7, yeah, yeah, you're right. right. The difference is. Uh, with 7 7. Um, when I speak to people that I know and I try yeah. and wake them up about this stuff, um, the differences between 9 11 and 7 7 is that. The 7 7, there isn't any actual media out there, <coughs> alternative media to, yeah. to talk about. Like, the, I mean, I haven't seen a, a movie out there which is about 7 7, apart from possibly and, David yeah, Shea. Well, there's there's, 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 there's a great one coming out this week. There's a great one coming out this week called The Ripper Thing, and it is a fantastic Very good. It's the best one I've ever seen. It's really powerful. It's about Scientology. It's 7 7, and it shows. Uh, a 2004 it. panorama program. That's a BBC program, which uh, I wasn't aware of at all. 2005. Where, where, no, a 2004 uh, uh, panorama program where they had a war game, uh, a, a, a simulated um, 
studio discussion based on three bombs going up in tube stations and a, and a bomb going up in a lorry overground. Okay, the exact same situation happened in 77. Now, I didn't know that until I saw that film. And, and it, the film follows all the detail right through and it's, it, it, it covers the three guys getting shot in Canary Wharf. Yeah. And it, said, and it tell, and explains how the story was about power surges up until 10.30, but 